Welcome to Izmir, Turkey for FIBA Under-18 Euro Championship semi-final between Slovenia and Turkey. 40 minutes of basketball stands between these young men in the biggest basketball game of their careers. Both of these teams have battled through some adversity in this tournament to get here. Both picking up losses in their groups, but that has steeled them for the big game here today. Turkey, obviously on their home floor, the stands are packed out. It's going to be a raucous game. And Slovenia, well, they had an impressive quarterfinal win, an upset quarterfinal win against France. And they are going to have to really dig deep here today. Here are some of our results today. Here's the classification game, 13 to 16. Croatia beat Great Britain, whilst North Macedonia picked up a three-point win against Montenegro. Great Britain and Montenegro going into that 15-16 game, whilst Croatia will play North Macedonia for the 14-15 game. Here are the five to eight classifications. France beating Lithuania by 20. Italy beating Israel by eight. Classification games nine to 12. Germany have just lost to the Czech Republic by seven. And tipping off at the same time as this game, Poland will face Greece. But these are the games that count. And what a game we had for the first semi-final. Spain walking away with a 22-point win over Serbia. And maybe most impressively, holding Serbia to just 38 points. The Spanish side looked imperious throughout. Who will look to join them in the final? We have two teams waiting to be introduced to the crowd here in Izmir. And from the hoops and the hollers, Sure, you can tell that it's Slovenia now being introduced first. And you would say they're the surprise package here in the semi-finals. And they have Gaspar Skoriac to thank for a clutch three-pointer. 6.2 seconds left on the clock. Steps up, hits the three. Claims a huge upset over France. And that's put them here. Really in the fire pit against the home team Turkey and the crowd will get to their feet and what a game for this Turkish team the biggest game of their career so far the chance to get through a, to a gold medal game on their home soil this is what players live for Turkey has been all round strong throughout this tournament defensively averaging over 72 points a game they also put good on ball pressure, forcing turnovers. How will they deal with the pressure of being on their home floor with the fans behind them? The expectation to lift the trophy tomorrow will be bearing on their shoulders right now. For some players, it lifts them up. For some players, they buckle under that pressure. And how they react dictate how this game goes we'll now take a break in commentary we're going to have the national anthems for both countries first Slovenia and then Turkey
Well, if you weren't ready for the semi-finals before the national anthems, you certainly are now. Rousing performances from both the teams. So much pride for playing for their national teams. The players will come to the centre circle, exchange gifts, exchange and taps. And pleasantries are end. Here's our officiating crew for today. Thomas Bizuel, Venceslav Velikov and Ivor Mathiek from France, Bulgaria and the Czech Republic respectively. Strong officiating crew. And they have a big game in front of them as Turkey will want to be in that gold medal game, will need to be in that gold medal game here on their home court in Izmir. The crowd will expect no less, their coaches will expect no less, their country will expect no less than for this Turkish team to make it through to that final game. Three minutes to play. Here's your starting five for Turkey. An impressive, strong starting five, that's for sure. We have Ryokun Cher, Sivas, Mestalu, Zildizalu, and Yitalu as the starting five. Some real talent in particular. Jochen Chell has done a phenomenal job for Kodouan throughout this tournament. He has uh, used every ounce of experience he has to guide this Turkish team to this semi-final position. Here's the starting five for Slovenia. You have Wojcinic, Zemlic, Music, Petrovic and Belko. Zoinik and Zemlich really the standout players from that starting five. Zoinik averaging over nine points a game, Zemlich averaging ten. Expect those two to do the majority of their damage offensively. It's going to take a team performance here for Slovenia. They entered the game against France as underdogs, they won that one. They enter the game here as underdogs against Turkey. And they will have to put it all out of there again to come away with the win. Because they will not just be facing the 12 Turkish players, they will be facing the thousands and thousands of fans that have filled the arena here in Izmir. I suspect a fire pit of an atmosphere. For what should be a phenomenal semi-final. Well, we're uh, waiting for the start of this game. Just a reminder, plenty for you to jump into on the social media. If you're into your future superstars and you want to jump on the Facebook, Instagram or Twitter, have a look at Next Gen Hoops. Relatively recently launched the FIBA, highlighting the next generation of superstars in the game that we love. Some amazing highlight clips have come out of the tournament for that one. You are going to tweet about this game and share this stream on your social media platforms. Use hashtag FIBAU18 Europe. And if you want to visit the official website, there's your QR code. Just scan that with your phone and you will be taken there. If you're not a fan of QR codes and you like the old fashioned URL, it's FIBA.basketball slash Europe slash U18 slash 2022. This game, as soon as it was decided that these two teams would face in the semi-finals, has been tantalising, to say the least. Both of these teams entered their quarter-finals as underdogs. Slovenia with the one-point win over France. Turkey taking out Lithuania, 64-61. Everything is perfectly balanced for a wonderful game of international basketball. Feeling the crowd are going to play their part in this one as well. Yukulu will go for the tip for Turkey. 
This player on the floor standing 2 metres 16. And we're underway. Semi final two here in Izmir, Turkey. The FIBA Under 18 European Championships 2022. Spain are already in the final. Who will be joining them? Slovenia or the home team, Turkey? Foul's going to be called. Yakincel gets called for the first foul. He doesn't want to get into foul trouble. Definitely one of the superstars of this Turkish team. Double digit scoring in four of their five games so far. Including 20 points against Spain in game day two. Good ball movement, corner pocket, three is good. That's the way to start the game for Slovenia. Sloinic himself off to Mark and Zemlich gets the assist. Who has it knocked away? Red ball movement again. Shot clock still at 10. Shot goes up, no good. Rebound pulled down. A real dissolute. Stolen away again. Turkey topping the ball up left, right and centre here early in this game. Their third turnover and they're not even 90 seconds into things. No stick, no good. Long rebound though, collected by Belko. Ball comes out, another three! Zemlic this time. Drains the triple. And Slovenia open up a six point lead to start the game. Equally now, going to work. Music going to take the foul, and you have a feeling. But to stop some of the size advantage that Turkey have against Slovenia. They're going to have to be tactical about their fouls. Slovenia have no player standing above two metres and five. Turkey have four players standing above two metres five. Jürgen comes up short. The sign of nerves, that's for sure. Nice pass inside, and Slovenia showing no nerves. An 8-0 run to start the game, and forcing Kotuan into a timeout. And the home team looking a little stunned right now. What a start to the game for Slovenia. Not sure they could have dreamt it. A better start. 8-0 to start the game. Two triples. One from Zemlic. One from Wysoynik. And then the transition bucket. He moves from Zemlic. His second assist of the game as Petrovic gets the score. And Turkey. Haven't rattled yet. Plenty of time to work with. Only two minutes gone in the game. Slovenia is certainly bringing it to Turkey right now. So that's just going to draw the foul. One is on Zemlich. Ball for the officials there. Arvid Sivas doing a good job. Oh, 
There's a Lou looking to go inside, too aggressive defensively. Travelling violation called though. Uh, now Belko got away with one a little there. Have a look at the replay. I think this official is saying the travel was before the contact. Two and a half minutes gone, Turkey yet to score. Shot goes up, that's no good. Rebound pulled down by Panchel. Goes long and the hammer is thrown down. And the foul, the big man was not going to be stopped. Yidalu, there's the pass, no look. There's the big man. Takes the contact, throws it down. Second foul, called on Mushek. That's the advantage that Turkey have. They can move at speed, they can use their size. That got the crowd to their feet. Not sure they needed any motivation to make any more noise. Nikolu will head to the free throw line. 39% in the tournament so far. Certainly a weakness in his game. That said Turkey only shooting a little over 52% as a team. Step three. Oh, string music from downtown. Let's be honest, the Slovenian under-18s team made the game the way the senior team do. Just picture-perfect shooting. Yitalu now. Nushek trying to stay with him. Blocks him. Good hand by Nushek. Stayed with the play to the corner. Wide open three ball. Oh, Slovenia arraigning the triples in Isma. What a start to the game for Slovenia. They knew the three ball was going to be important. They've not shot it particularly well in the tournament, but they're shooting it phenomenally well right now. Big ball violation though. Turkey will take possession. Yeah, that one's off the foot. Turkey ball on the baseline. Into the game comes Jengiz. Four minutes gone in the game. Slovenia lead by 12. This is a start dreams are made of. Bishek will head to the line. Done a great job to start the game. That's the hand of Cheva who will come in now, do the same job, or they'll look for him to do the same job. First case of the action is good. This man provides good rim protection. Go right to the basket, goes in amongst the trees. Oh my goodness, almost came up with the unlikely offensive rebound. Turkey do pull it down. Drive to the basket, swatted away. Get that out of here. Bukeva announces himself on the semi final. Sivas looks heads up. Drive to the basket. And that is bread and butter for Bukeva. is waiting for the ball on the baseline as uh, some sweat and some moisture is cleared off it. And Turkey in the firing line right now. They're down by 12. Only scored two points in the first four and a half minutes. Looking a little bit like Serbia did in the first semi-final. Into the corner. Thelu, no good. Gets his own put back. Stays with the play. 
And the boos ring out. This will be testing the young Slovenian team's metal. And they cope with the pressure that the crowd are going to put them under. Elko draws the foul from Sivas. Wow, what a start. Almost five minutes gone as we see the player, Slovenian player has to head to the bench. It's Belko with a little cut. Zemlich will come in. Corner, wide open, three, and again. Slovenia, phenomenal from downtown so far in this game. Four from six. Sivas looking to shape up. Throws it inside. There's the finish. By Uyakton Chell. It's fortunate, really. The Chaver has given up on the play. But thought the shot had gone up. Turned his back. Giving him space that Uyakton Chell needs. Catch and shoot three, he's fouled. He'll go to the free throw line for three shots. And that's the problem. You have to guard the three man. Mestelou chasing out too hard. Fouls the jump shooter. And Zulic to the line for three free throws. 73% free throw shooter. The first to go. Expectant Turkish fans have poured into this arena for this semi final. Dulic quieting them down by making the free throws. Coach Savlovic. The players are developing as players. He is certainly in the early stages of his coaching career. Developing as a coach, but what a start to this game. 14 point lead for Slovenia as we see. Mestalu head to the bench and Conan come in. Coach Duan trying to find some answers right now. Four minutes to play in the first quarter and Turkey have only scored six points. Elu hands it out. Shot is short, and uh, I'm not sure Turkey want to get into a shootout with Slovenia. Your Turkey, you want to get the ball inside and grind it down a little bit. Shot goes up, and the three is good. Not great defense from Sivas. Stepped off, gave him too much space, and he was made to pay again. You can hear the murmurs around the arena. Shot up, no good. That's short. Foul's going to be called. It will remain a Turkish ball. Foul will be called on Soynik. Three. Impressive from him. Believably already on nine points. All of them from downtown. Slovenia are at 23 points in six and a half minutes, a little over. Zuzalu trying to be a little bit cheeky, throwing it off the back of Zulic, but it only goes out of bounds, so Turkey will take possession again. Bounded inside now. And they need to get him going. That's his second bucket of the game, and he is critical. They're going to fight their way back into this one and make it to the final. 
you have a feeling that Buyak Tungchel will be a big part of that. He's now been given the Oysoynik defensive responsibility. Shot goes up, another three. That one's heavy-handed. Loose ball rebound falls to Turkey. Sivas goes long. Oh, and there's the thunder put back from Conan. Perfect timing. And at one end, we've got it raining threes. At the other end, we've got pure aggression and rim rattling. What a game. Conan giving us everything right now. Reads that one and flushes it back for two. Turkey looking to make the change. Changa has coming into the game. Slovenian ball came off Conan's hand. Lull in proceedings and I think the game kind of needs it. It's been blistering for seven and a half minutes now. It's just non-stop action. Long three comes up short. And five seconds on the shot clock. It started to go early from range. There's a lose. Goes to the corner. Conan hits the three. Five quick points for Kerem Conan. And Turkey are back within ten. Much to the appreciation of this avid basketball crowd here in Izmir. Timeout called by coach Radosavljevic, and he now needs to work out how to slow Turkey down. What a game. If the first game was one-sided, low scoring between Serbia and Spain. This game is anything but. What a start to the game. Slovenia, six from ten from downtown to start the game. Turkey already two huge dunks in the game. Four offensive rebound. They've got 10 points in the paint. What a start. Serena at one point had a 17 point lead. That's been trimmed to 10 now. Much to the assistance of that man there, Eram Conan. He has come in and done a job. That's a put back flush. And he, uh, and the play that led to this timeout hit the corner ball three. What a semi final we have here. With Radosavljevic cleaning the clipboard, ready to go again if it's needed. The baseline ball to Slovenia. it up over the half. Just over two minutes left in the first quarter. Belko hands it off. A little shot fake. They'll come back out. Almost thrown away. Catch and shoot. Three off the glass. No good, but it's tapped off the leg of Slovenia. And it will be a Turkish ball. Heads up play by Yildizalu. Sivas will inbound it for Turkey. Crowd already have played their part in this game and that's only going to grow as the clock ticks down. Sivas, corner, wide open, three. No good. Sivas grabs the rebound though. Rules the foul. Time at 
Foul's going to be called on Scotty Ants, the hero from the quarter final. Cash for Scotty Ants hit the three. 6.2 seconds left. They trailed France by two. He stepped up, drained the three to send them through to this semi final and really upsetting the odds. France had looked phenomenal throughout the tournament. Almost unstoppable at times, but Slovenia stopped them in the opening stages of this one. Slovenia have been on top against Turkey. This is both free throws. That will be Slovenian ball as Conan tried to gain possession but could only knock it out of bounds. Slovenia's inbounds it now. Samar will slow it down. Scores a double team. Quick ball movement by Slovenia. Godiantz with eight seconds left. Comes back out. Shot goes up and he's good for Samar. Another three. Unreal. Seven three-pointers in the first quarter for Slovenia. And the pass is too long. Wow, Slovenia have quietened the crowd here. Only briefly, the wolf whistles and the boos continue to holler from the stands. El Coach. Goes inside, tough play, good defense, good recovery. Yildizalu providing some protection in the paint. Yildizalu shaping up now. Oh, nice little hesitation. Oh, loses the handle though. The defense is good from Zulic. Comes out of bounds and 16.7 seconds left in this first quarter, and what a first quarter we have had. Slovenia doubling Turkey's score. They lead this 26 to 13. No one, I think, would have forecasted such a hot start for Slovenia. Now look to take the last shot of this first quarter. Belko now, slowing it down. Elbow jumper, doesn't get it a drop, but Elko will head to the free throw line. A chance for Slovenia to extend their lead. Going into the end of the first quarter. Belko not the best free throw shooter though, just 55% in this tournament. The first of his two. for the second. Slovenia's lead back up to 15. The Hail Mary from Genjiz. No good. Genjiz just throws it over the backboard. End of the first quarter. And what a first quarter for Slovenia. Slovenia 28, Turkey 13. What a scoreline. 10 down, 30 minutes to go. Here are some of the shooting statistics from that first quarter. And you know where you want to look. Three point percentage for Slovenia. Seven from 12, 59%. Only one of their 28 coming from downtown. That's the stat line that matters. The rest pale into insignificance once you've looked at that one. Slovenia have put on another shooting clinic. Sweenik leads it with nine. Belko with eight for Turkey. Conan coming off the bench has done a job. Five points for him. One dunk and a triple from the corner. 
The turkey trail by 15 at the end of the first quarter. The crowd here in Izmir came to see the dominant performance from Turkey, but what they've seen so far in the first 10 minutes is their team being pushed on to the back foot. Slovenia just play with no fear, with true belief in what they can do. It's down to Turkey to change things. But Turkey, they need to force the game to be a little bit slower, potentially. They need to look to the inside to get their points. You want to follow the box score. Just scan that QR code on the screen right now. That will jump you into the official website for the FIBA Under-18 European Championships and you'll be able to jump into the game where you'll get a ton of stats if you want them. Got them on my screen in front of me now. Tons to pick through to tell the story of the game. If you're gonna post anything on social media, just remember to use the hashtag fiberu 18 europe and you can join in that conversation. Second quarter action underway. Semi-final number two here in the FIBA Under-18 European Championship. Slovenia lead this one by 15 over Turkey at the end of the first quarter. Belko now for Slovenia. Little hesitation, drives inside. Good help by Cengiz, but he just steps away and drains the soft little jumper. Pulling the game high lead for Slovenia now, 17. And a fumble from Jengiz. Slovenia ball, Turkey with the turnover. The seventh of the game already. And points from turnovers for Slovenia as well. Shows that Turkey needs to be a little bit more protective of their possession. Godiantz throws it away. Good sprawling defense from Turkey. Out in transition. Oh, that is a tough play. Uyak Tunchel. With the tough reverse layout, takes his tally to six points now. Let's have a look at the replay. This is definitely worth one to look. Uses every last centimeter of that wingspan. That is supremely difficult to execute. Definitely tagged as one of the next generation of superstars for Turkish basketball. Off the foot, I think, of Jen. Jengiz, so it will be a Slovenian ball, but so many, so many young superstars have put in big performances within this tournament. If you do like following the next generation of superstars, make sure you check out FIBA's new social media channels. Just go to either Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter and look for Next Gen Hoops. Follow those uh, channels and you'll being bombarded with a ton of awesome plays. Offensive foul is going to be called on Belko. He just walks in front of Conan. Have a look at the replay on this one. He still trail by 15, but coach. Radosavlovic doesn't look so comfortable as maybe he did earlier in the game. Turkey's starting to disrupt Slovenia a little bit. Slovenia's third turnover of the game. Now Turkey will look to use the S size. You have to chair. Fade away. Tough shot. Comes up short. Gets it away before the shot clock though. Foul's going to be called. In fact, he stepped out of bounds, so that will be turnover number eight for Turkey now. Now going to be called on Jen Giz. He's working hard, certainly putting everything he can in. 
First personal foul of the game. Team foul of the quarter for Turkey as well. And stuttering start to this second quarter. Oh, and the post up. That one's thrown down. Wonderful play. Finished by Kicheva with the hammer. Slovenia aren't just a, a one-trick pony. They can shoot the three ball. They can get out and run in transition. Now it's going to get called, I think, on Belko. Second foul of the game is going to send him to the bench. Back in comes Jan Zemlich. They also make the change with Morel coming out of the game and Efeelu coming back in. Michel back to the top now and Turkey will slow things down a little. And they should have slowed things down a little instead. Genghis spills it for another turnover. Now Slovenia going to make them pay. Slovenia looking very composed right now. Zulic gets the score, extends Slovenia's lead out to a game high, 19 points now. This wasn't a flash in the pan. That's going to be called. Time on Zemlich. Might be one of the ways back in for Turkey. Trying to force a little bit of foul trouble. Sivas hits the floor. Belko's on two, Mushek's on two. Zemlich now is on two as well. Turkey head to the free throw line. Team foul of the quarter for Slovenia as well, and it's under three minutes played. As I said earlier, though, Turkey not the best free throw shooting side. 53% in this tournament. That's himself. 50%. This has had an up and down tournament. Tournament high of 14 against Spain in game day two. Misses the second, so keeps his 50% alive, but it's batted back. Sivas for three, in and out. Heartbreak for the Turkish fans behind the bucket. Audience now inside, comes back out, wide open, doesn't take it. Drives in, tries to scoop and gets it to go. Samar, his second bucket of the game. A little step through. And look at the hope in his eyes as he sees it rattle around the rim. The frustration, the crowd behind. Over three minutes gone in this second quarter. Slovenia's lead just keeps getting bigger. They now lead by 20. Would have thought it 13 minutes into the game and Turkey only have 13 points. They've been averaging nearly 73 points a game. Where he goes up and it's good. Burke, Bujak Tunchel. Gets the score, he's up to nine points and he is trying to carry his team on his shoulders right now. Once again, Slovenia happy to be patient, take their time. Rolling away though, long out the pass is poor and Zulic will just scoop up the loose ball. An offensive foul is going to be called. Zemlich, his third foul, that is a problem for them. One of Slovenia's leading scorers and facilitators. He's had double digits in the last four games. He's going to head to the bench. Only one bucket to his name so far. Also going to the bench will be 
Kacheva. This pair were uh, the two involved in the turnover. Glimmer of light for Turkey to exploit, potentially. And Vizalu feeds it inside. We got Kuncel, another score for him, and he is the first Turkish player to double digits. Up to 11 points now, five from eight from the field. Four shots from Petrovic. Divas takes the contact off Petrovic. If you can see Turkey score maybe one or two more buckets without reply, you're going to see coach Karasavlovic call the timeout. You have a feeling that Turkey are starting to get some momentum. They're starting to get a foothold in this game. It's the last thing Slovenia want to see. You don't want the visiting team here in Turkey to give the crowd anything to cheer about. Bring them into the game and it becomes a much taller task to come away with the win. The first of his two free throws. Sivas stepping up to the plate. Only his second point of the game, though. Open three from the field to start with. It's both to go. That's much free throws. And a full court press now from Turkey. And it comes away. No, it doesn't. Scotty Ants will pick up the loose ball. And slow things down. More seconds for Slovenia to work with it. Stolen away. Siva ends it out. Bujak Tunchel with the score. And a timeout has been called by coach Rada Savlovic. As Turkey... Start to turn the tables on Slovenia. Out of the races, in full flow. Gorianz needs to be careful. It was one of the most obvious flops I've seen in a long while. And this Turkish crowd are now all in for their team. Turkey are back within 11. Five minutes left here. In the second quarter. Zulic there, the little head fake, hesitation, scoops it in off the glass. That's a tough play, this time by Samar. Uses the glass and the spin for precision. And in the other way, Turkey have looked good. In particular, Uyuk Kinchel, down to 13 points, six from nine from the field, has three rebounds as well. He is leading the charge, being ably assisted by Sivas. He's up to three assists. Slovenia don't look as confident as they did five minutes ago. Their turn to face the pressure. Face the pressure cooker. See how they react. Court press again. Slovenia break that one. Belko. Florian drives inside. Strong move. Too strong. Rebound is good though. Tough play by Petrovic. Those kind of plays. Win your games in tournaments. Just staying with an offense, not walking away. Dominic being put into the spin. If you don't get the score. That will be Turkish ball. I think it might have come off the hands of Buyuk Changaz, but... Let's just say no. Samar just threw it straight out of bounds.
Winning your lead at 13. A little over four to play in this second quarter. What a game we have had so far. It carries on like this for the full 40. This is a treat. Strong move, tough play. We got Changas gets the score. Berkey continue to put the pressure on. Elko now. Stoyans moves it back to the top. In it. Shot goes up. Belko wide open, no good. Where's the rebound going? It's going to remain Slovenia ball. Scotty Ants making a nuisance of himself down in the Turkish paint. This line ball for Slovenia, a fresh 14 for them to work with. Waiting to come on the floor, I think. There's the lob pass inside. The catch, the shoot, no good. Maybe a little bit early with that play. They had a full 14. An out of bounds play. Oh, a crossover. Diva just shaking. He uh, faked out the entire arena with that crossover. He's going to come back. That draws the foul. To the game for. Slovenia comes Chabrillo. Slovenia in the penalty. So Turkey will head to the free throw line. Sivas heads back for another trip. Three from six from the free throw line so far. He's been uh, on track with his 50% across the tournament. It's his seventh free throw of the game, though. And you feel the art of Sivas. It's almost the... Uh, spiritual leader of this team the emotional leader might not have the biggest stat line there's the rebound hands it inside and the finish the failu gets the score and turkey are back within single digits now they smell blood in the water foul's going to be called on buyok chengaz Slovenia will get sideline possession in the crowd if they weren't all in at the start of the game they are all in right now Avilo to inbound the ball for Slovenia Swing it now Hands it off here by Slovenia, but they need to be a bit more direct. Four seconds to go. Move inside, no good. But Petrovic follows up again. The big man doing a job. Second rebound of the game, third bucket for him. Let's take some of the uh, wind out of the sails here in the arena. All the Turkish fans. Patience by Mestalut. Didn't rush things, didn't go with the first option. Used the pivot wisely. To the corner for three. Oh, and with normal service is resumed for Slovenia. It went quiet from downtown for a while, but that is their eight three of the game. Eight from 14 now for Slovenia. And the foul's going to be called on Scotty Ants. He just couldn't take the pressure being applied on him by Mestalu. Sorry, not Mestalu, it was by Efelu. Just couldn't take that punishment. Legs buckled. Foul is pulled. Scotty Ants will head to the bench. First foul of the game. A 
Bellu will head to the free throw line for the bonus. That's got has been called for the technical foul for flopping. Just the technical free throw now. That's that one to go. And we'll now come back for the and one play. In fact, he won't. It was just the technical foul called, not the regular foul as well. And to be fair, the full court pressure has paid off for Turkey. Spin move inside of Sweenik. No good. And Mestalu looks to pump the crowd. It's a bold move. From the 18 year old. Timeout has been called by Rada Sablovic. It's a very simple point to make with, with Sweenik. You don't need to panic. We're leading this game by eight. There's 90 seconds left in the first half. We are in control of this game. We don't need to go over the top. In fact, there's a Turkish timeout called by Coach Duan. A look. A finish. Turkey have certainly looked far better in this second quarter. They've outscored Slovenia 22 to 15. Still 90 seconds still to play. And that was the patient play by Mestalut. Into corner three. Slovenia so desperately needed that. Technical foul for Stolian. But just flopping. No foul call. The finish was good. Foul was converted as well, the free throw for Turkey. Be a baseline ball for Turkey. 90 seconds left in the first half. Turkey can be within single digits. They will surely see that as a, an accomplishment. They trail by 20 in this second quarter. And trim that back to single digits. We'll set them up nicely for the second half. In fact, that will set us up nicely as well as fans watching this one. We have seen Chell trying to shake things up against Petrovic. Petrovic not having it right now. Good defense. Lost it on the pivot, but gets it back. That one's put to. Zulic who slows it down. And hustled there by Yildizalu. Ends it away. Thing is, he's hustling as well. Zulic takes the three, drives inside. You're a step back. No good. Rebound pulled down by Vyotkin Chell. His fourth rebound of the game. Inside! And there's the score. A fair loop. Nine points for him now. And Slovenia's lead is being cut and cut and cut. It's down to just six now. Petrovic, traveling violation, picks up that pivot foot before he put the ball down. I like the move, he just needs to work on it. There you go. Lifted that left foot before the ball hit the ground. Line ball for Turkey. Who can believe it? Maybe they could even get into the locker room tied up as we see Sivas come back in for the action for Turkey. What the first half of basketball we've had. Slovenia dominating the opening proceedings and then Turkey relentlessly have fought their way back into this one in the second quarter. No good. Bujacun Chell gets the score and the flex. And that will be the end of the first half here in Izmir. And the crowd are on their feet. They have seen a big effort from their team to fight their way back in. Here's a replay. Bujacun Chell not giving up on it. He's at 15 points and five rebounds at the half.
a real leader as he flexes half time here in Izmir Slovenia 43 Turkey 39 it is game on Well, we have had a first half of two halves. That's for sure as we look at the shooting percentages. Slovenia, eight from 14 from downtown, 24 of their 43 from range. Turkey leaning heavily on the paint, 28 of their 39 coming inside. Turkey struggling from the free throw line though, only five from 10, that has hurt them and continues to do so. They are winning the rebounding battle. As we expected, they have a size advantage in this game. Neither team looking after the ball particularly well either. Nine turnovers apiece. But as I was saying, a first half of two halves. Slovenia won the first quarter 28-13. Turkey won the second quarter 26-15. And it's on the back of Kuncel with 15 points for Turkey. With Soinik with 12 for Slovenia. They're your leading scorers. But what a just wonderful first half we've had here in the second semi-final for the 2022 FIBA Under-18 European Championships. This tournament keeps giving us some wonderful games, and none more so than this one right here. Big performances in the first half from downtown for Slovenia. Soinik is four from five for his 12 points. Two from three from downtown is Belko. He has 10 points. And then one from two is Zemlic as well 8 from 14 as a team 57 points that's how slovenia opened up a 20 point lead in this first half but turkey did not give up powered on by their home fans here in izmir they have battled their way back into this one Kuncel has to take a huge amount of credit 15 points five rebounds one concern though he has played 18 and a half of the first 20 minutes of this game does he have a 38 minute game in those legs he's already been playing 29 minutes a game just in the tournament so far can they lean on him for a near 40 minute game and if they do make it through for him to still have enough in the tank for the final tomorrow alongside Bjorkson Chell Bayalou has nine points and four rebounds Conan came in and did a great job when things weren't going Turkey's way. He had five quick points as well. But for Turkey to win this, it needs to be more than the Buya Kuncel show. They need some of the other players to step out, particularly offensively. For Slovenia, you live by it, you die by it. If they're going to win this game, you probably feel they're going to need to walk away with maybe 14, 15 made threes in total. They've got eight so far. We need another big second half of shooting if they're going to come away with the win. And remember what they're playing for, a place in the final the 2022 FIBA Under-18 European Championships waiting for them in that final. Already progressed is Spain. They had a comprehensive win against Serbia in the first semi-final. And they watch on waiting to see who they will face in that gold medal game tomorrow much to play for the biggest game of these players careers right here you know big plays to look at in that first half as well early proceedings dominated by Slovenia second quarter dominated by Turkey we will come out of the halftime locker room the hotter could determine who comes away with the win and the spot in the final. Turkey can't afford a slow start like they had at the start of the game. Need to come out firing and firing early. And at the half here, Miza, it's 43 to Slovenia, Turkey 39. We'll be back for all the second half action shortly. Hey, 
Welcome back to Izmir here in Turkey. This is semi-final two of the 2022 FIBA Under-18 European Championship. And what a game we have had. We're at the halfway stage. Slovenia lead this one 43 to 39 over Turkey. A little over 90 seconds to go until the start of the second half. And I'm sure you saw the half-time little uh, banner there. Your chance to win a game ball. All you need to do is go to either Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and make sure you follow Next Gen Hoops. You can see it on your screen there on the courtside boards. Phenomenal social media channels, really, really strong. Definitely worth a follow. Give you tons of highlights of some of these young superstars doing what they do best. So make sure you get onto social media and check that out straight away. And what a first half we've had here. Plenty of highlight plays that you will see on that social media account. Absolutely, for sure. As Slovenia looked phenomenal in the first quarter, shooting the lights out, leading by 20 at one point. And then Turkey powered on by their fans here on their home floor. Fought their way back into this one. Another half, they only trail by four. Going into the game, you would have had Turkey as favorites. I'm not sure where you have them now. You want to uh, follow all the stats as the game progresses. The QR code there, if you scan that with your phone, it will take you through to the official website for the FIBA Under-18 European Championship. All the stats you could ever want at your fingertips. Second half action underway here in Izmir, Turkey. Slovenia dropping into a zone to start the second half. They lead by four points over Turkey. Almost stolen away. Ball movement is good. Yildizalo drains the three and gives Slovenia a little bit of their own medicine to start the second half. Turkey are within one. Belko steps in, short two, foul from behind by Sivas. Belko will head to the line for free throws. Two from two so far in this game. Fifty-five percent from the free throw line prior to tonight's game. Now Belko. A little bit of sweat on the floor needs cleaning up. The jerseys to be tucked in and we're good to go. And Belko hits the first of his two. Big ass now for coach Adesavlovic here in the second half. They're leading by so many, can he get his team up for it again and to push on again? Also misses the second, big rebound though, Petrovic, sorry Osoynik it was, doesn't get the score. Slovenia back in their zone, they've been punished once already, will they be again? Not moving as quick as it needs to right now, Gildizalu. Off right with that one. Almost stolen away. Good work in the end by Slovenia to hold on to it. We need to get it up over the half though. They just do. Now they get their offense started, but they've only got 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Inside. Strong move. Gets the score. 
Soinic continues to be a difficult matchup. He's up to 14 points now. Most of the damage done from outside early on for him. Sivas. The leg of Soinic, so it'll be a baseline ball for Turkey. Interesting because I wouldn't say the Slovenian defense is reacting particularly well. They're creating and giving space to Turkey. Just the Turkish players aren't taking the opportunities right now. Over balancing it. Over loading it. Nice pass inside and a good finish by Efelu. Efelu just staying with it. These two teams trade buckets in the early stages of the third quarter. Yeah. Drop, drop down for three. Shots going to have to go up from range. Off the iron and away. Musek tries to bat it back. Which way? Waiting for the call. Going to remain a Slovenian ball. Came off Gildizalu. Side line for Slovenia. The offense was uh, probably the worst I've seen some from Slovenia in this game. Didn't really have any structure to it, which is a rarity for Toto Stavlovic. Nice pass inside, but even better defense by F.A. Alou. The three, Sivas hits the three. And Turkey unbelievably have the lead. They trailed by 20. They now lead by one. What a mature, tough-nosed performance from Turkey here to fight their way back into this. And another turnover. This time Petrovic drops it out of bounds. Little clenched fist from Arda Sivas. Sivas, back to back threes, no, off right. Big rebound though, Mestalu will come back out. Not sure Slovenia are going to stay in this zone for much longer. Gildizalu, oh, rejected. What a big play by Musek. Musek now down low, running left hand is good. The big man doing it on both ends of the floor. His first bucket of the game. Good ball movement by Turkey. The defense collapses, but not well enough. Yuxin Chell picks up the offensive rebound. Six rebounds, 17 points now. For the superstar. Belko inside. New check. Hits the ground hard. Just lost his footing. I hope we didn't see more of. Mihan Musek in the first half. He started the game well. Provided that anchor, that rim protection for oh, Slovenia. Not far. I don't know why they're staying in this zone every time Turkey have scored against it. Three goes up. Mestalu, no good this time. Rebound. Thrown away though by Uya Changas. A big sideline for Slovenia. Turkey, single point lead. Wouldn't be where they wanted to be before the game. But bearing in mind how that first quarter went, I think they'll be more than happy. Musek, it fouls hard. 
Just need to be a little careful with that right elbow hooking around. See who the foul is on. Look at the elbow just there. It's on Mestalu, the foul. See that came across and blocked it, but the foul had already been committed at that point. Turkey are going to make the change as Italy comes into the game. And out comes Mestalu. That's a tougher matchup for Ushek. The official is just talking to him maybe about that hook. Just be a little bit careful. Turkish fans have been in full voice as usual. In and out with the first of his two. Him into the free throw line a lot in this tournament. Doing 67% before today's game. This is his first trip today. This is both. Luke picks up the rebound. Siva. Find a way in, there's nothing there. Lavinia. Oh, still with the zone defense. Yitlu looking to put Petrovic on a poster, but Petrovic does enough to stop him from scoring. I'm still not buying this zone defense. Slovenia look completely all at sea when they play it. The gaps are huge. Not a cohesive unit. I think they're far better playing man-to-man -man defense. Eagle will head to the line for free throws. 39% before today's game. Come at Eagle. Oh, from two so far in today's game now. The best game of the tournament was against Great Britain. 17 points, nine rebounds in Turkey's romp over Great Britain in the round of 16. Rebound, Mark Play, Soinik just comes across the paint to scoop that one up. Petrovic now looking at back for smaller Sivas down, hands it inside to Mushek. Mushek is swatted away by Yitlu. And Turkey will go again, trying to extend their lead. Over four minutes left in the third quarter now. Yachengaz off the glass, no good. Rebound ripped down by Slovenia. Zemlich. Has it stolen away, does he? It will be Turkish ball on the baseline, chased hard by Yachengaz, but it will remain their possession, I think, will it? Foul has been called. The motion's now starting to run high. That one's on Coach Radosavlovic. Had a warning earlier in the game. That one's just tipped over. Sivas at the line for the technical free throw. Hangs around the arena, but only briefly. Turkey out to a two point lead. Unbelievably a game high two point lead. They've trailed the vast majority of this game. They've only led for three minutes. They've trailed for just shy of 23 minutes. Slovenia continue to sit in their zone defense. Rup and Chell, no good. Rebound ripped down and foul is going to be called on Sivas. Good rebound by Sojnik. Yeah, 
trying to keep their composure. The pressure is huge now for them. Petrovic drives through, tries to draw the foul, but it's good defense by Turkey. Out in transition, Yidlou gets the score, and Turkey are in full flow. Coach Radosavlovic forced into the timeout. Cracks starting to appear for the Slovenian team. Yidlou out in transition. And Turkey find themselves with a four-point lead. They trailed by four at the half. They lead by four. Coach Radosavlovic calls a timeout. For Slovenia, they've been held to just five points in the first nearly seven minutes of this third quarter, whilst Turkey have poured in 13 points in that time. And Turkey have wrestled control of this game away from Slovenia, who are up by 20. But now trail by four. Remember, this is the second semi-final in the 2022 FIBA Under-18 European Championships. A place in the final to take on Spain for the gold medal is up for grabs. to play in the third quarter. Slovenia not looking as fluid or as confident as they have done earlier in the game. Pressure is starting to build on them. Shot goes up, no good. Much better perimeter defense by Turkey. Slovenia too slow to build their offense. Turkey doing a much better job defending that three-point line. Bayalou gets the score. And Turkey are up by six. It's time for Slovenia to find a way back into this. Coach Morales Savlovic is going to make three changes now. He knows he needs to be maybe a little bit more radical. Oh, and it's going everywhere. Not sure what the complaint was about, really. It was just good hard hustle. Everyone going for everything. I'm sure there was any complaint. It's Slovenian ball. The changes are going to be made for Slovenia. All changes. As we see Chaver come back into the game. Certainly looked good in the early stages. So coming back in. Zulic. The Chave, a little pump fake, drives inside. Too heavy handed, should have gone first time. Didn't need to put the fake in. Slovenia. Got back into a man-to-man -man defense. Shot goes up, and it's good! The three from the corner, Efeu gets the score. And Turkey are absolutely flying right now. Dominating the game across the entire floor. Look at the confidence. And there's the string music. The reward at the end of a beautiful arc. And look at the joy from the fans. Jörg Cengaz heads to the bench. Genghis comes back in. The free throw line goes Samar though. The first of his two takes his personal tally to six and 
Maybe just takes a little bit of the pressure out of the arena right now. And that's what Slovenia need. They need to ride this tidal wave that's coming their way. This Turkish tidal wave. Bring it back to a seven-point game. Just keep it competitive for Slovenia. Give themselves a chance. They can score and score in a hurry. But they just need to be within striking distance. Blue now, oh, spin move on the baseline. Footwork from the big man gets the two. He may be two meters 16 tall. He has the footwork for featherweight. Come on now, backs it out. He's got the mismatch. That is a long three. Comes up short. Rebound, Scotty Ants. Goes in, no good. Defensive board. A player loose. Sixth rebound of the game. Alongside his 16 points now. Forty seconds remaining in what has been a Turkish third quarter. And a player loose. I think if you were to say if anyone has owned this quarter, it is that man there. Karahan, a player loose, has stepped up when his team have needed him 18 points now eight from ten from the field that is efficient production you know, need to be careful they don't want to pick up a technical foul when they're in the driver's seat like this Jengiz needs to be careful double change for slovenia as belko and Nushek come back in to the bench comes a fair loop for Turkey. Seems the appreciation from the crowd and his teammates. He certainly put in a shift here in the third quarter. Zemlic no good. With the first of his two. Zemlic has had a, a real standout tournament. Third in the tournament for assists. Seventh for steals, averaging 10 points a game. Helped his team through some tough spots, including the round of 16 game against Croatia. Had 17 points in that one. He's been quiet today. Just four points, just one field goal. We expected more. As you see Podorovic come into the game for Coach Vodosavljevic. Some rotation to, to rest some... Uh, Star players for the final quarter. A couple of things happening at the moment that Coach Vodosavljevic needs to sort out. I think they made a change that they weren't allowed to, so Belko will come back in and Gabrillo will have to stay on the bench. Just trying to get Nal Belko a little bit of extra rest in the final 18.5 seconds of this quarter. And get that now. Turkey, I'm sure, will look to take the final shot of the quarter. A couple of things to check with the officials right now. Sablovic just needs to be careful. Already on a technical, doesn't need another one, that's for sure. That would really cause problems if he was to get thrown out of the game over something. Here we go. Final 14 seconds of the third quarter. Sebas now. Trying to find some space. Almost an ankle breaker, but loses his footing himself. Puts up the three. No good. Rebound pulled down by Todorovic. And that is the end of a red-coloured third quarter. Turkey outscoring Slovenia 22 to 8 and leading this by 10 at the end of three.
What a breathtaking third quarter for the crowd here in Izmir to enjoy. They've cheered them on throughout. Even when they trailed by 20, they now lead by 10. And they have done a job and a half, this young Turkish team, to keep their head, com their composure and fight their way back in. They outscored Slovenia by 14 points in that third quarter. They held Slovenia to just eight points. Has that changed the flow of this game? Berlu, the man of the hour in that third quarter, he's up to 18 points. Sojnik leads things for Slovenia with 14. And you really feel right now for Slovenia, if they are going to win this game if they are to overturn this 10-point deficit here in the final quarter. It is going to come from downtown. It is going to come from hitting three-pointers like they hit them in that first quarter. It's not going to come from inside. It's not going to come from transition. It's going to come from them finding some form from distance. For Turkey, it's about potentially slowing the game down a little bit, turning it into a half-court game but more importantly, keeping their defensive intensity high. They don't need to try and get in an outscoring competition with Slovenia right now. They want to slow the game down, slow the scoring rate down if they can for both teams. That is how Turkey will make it to a final. QR code on the screen, get your phones out. That will take you straight through to the official 2022 FIBA Under 18 European Championship website. Tons for you to get your teeth into there. My favorite, as always, is the stats. And you have got stats to keep you going for days. Remember also to follow FIBA's new launch, Next Gen Hoops social media channels, available Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, at Next Gen Hoops. Rovic to inbound the ball and a big 10 minutes, the biggest 10 minutes of these players' careers so far right now ahead of them. Belko hands it off. Zulic has to come back out. Turkish defence still high intensity. Belko misses the three, rebound. Yifalu pulls it down and Turkey wisely slow things down. They're in no rush. They want to keep the pace their tempo they don't need to run and gun they don't need to make it a free-flowing high scoring final quarter Aldizalu hands it away that one's short but it's off the hands I think that one I'm not sure in fact was it Zulic that it came off but oh you shit by the way it goes down as a team offensive rebound Foul is going to be called on now, Belko. Have a look at the replay. Yeah, absolutely right. Cool. Easy call for the officials. Fourth foul on now, Belko. Needs to tread carefully now. They don't want to lose him too early. Slides an outside threat. He's on 11 points. Kicked it out. Bailu in and out. Rebound. Pulled down by Todorovic. Brilliant. Little head fake drives inside. Things opened up. Draws the foul. Just going to see they're trying to get to the paint. Hikalu buys the fake. Commits the foul. Only his second foul of the game. That sends Brilliant to the line for two shots. First trip to the free throw line today. This is the first percent in the tournament. Slovenia are now nine from 15 from the free throw line. About in line with what they've shot all tournament. Just shy of 65 percent prior to today's game. Brilliant hits the second, brings it down to a single-digit lead now for Turkey. A little bit of full court pressure from Slovenia. Behind the back, what a pass and what a finish. That is some serious handle and vision for Turkey. 
Imagine the confidence to make that play in the semi-final of a major championship. Now on the floor there. Let's see a replay. Not of that, but of the uh, behind-the-back pass at the other end of the floor. That was phenomenal. Elko inbounds it now to Nuchek. Zulic finds the space. Yeah, defense collapses on him pretty quickly, though. Oh, rejected. Yilu swats that one away. Felu gets the score. And the timeout has been called. Everything is going Turkey's way right now. There's the block. Comes the other way, and the man of the hour steps in, gets the two, takes himself to 20 points, but more importantly for Turkey, takes it to a game high lead of 13 points. Coach Radosavlovic has to call the timeout, has to stem the flow. Eight minutes and seven seconds left on the clock. What does Slovenia have left to throw at this one? Can they turn the tide? This is a huge ask. Can they do it against the will of the thousands of fans who have poured into this arena to cheer their under-18 team on? Firing the next generation coming through, it never stops and Turkey truly are a powerhouse of global basketball at every level. Men's, women's, you name it. All age groups. You see the next generation of talent coming through. Do jump onto that social media at NextGen, at NextGen Hoops. Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. There will be tons of clips in today's game, I guarantee you that. Now going to be called on Gil Vizalu. We do feel that Slovenia have to be working towards creating three-point three opportunities. The only way they're going to get back into this is almost Ball into the floor, pulls up, elbow jumper, swats it away. Good defense, Genghis gets in on the act. And the floating right hand is no good. Fair loop comes up short for once. Zulic. Goes out in the races. Oh, batted away. That is a disgusting play. I think the foul's been called, though. Let's have a look at the replay. Zulic thought he was going to get the easy two. There's the chase down. Monster block from behind. Afelu stands over him. I'm not a huge fan of that. But the emotions are running high. Goal 10 going to be called, in fact. Two points to Zulic. Officials determined that it hit the glass before the block. Love to see that intensity, though. Chasing down what looked like maybe a lost cause. Equally now. Turkey want to take their time. They lead by 11. Managing the clock is now part of the game for them. Nikolu going up against the Chavea. Okay, there. No good. Picked it out. Zulic for three. Not this time. Soinik looks to gain hold. Going to be Slovenian ball. Zulic. Wraps up a little bit with Genghis. Right call by the official, took his time, got it right. 
Pressure is high, not just on the players, but the officials as well. Doing it now. Zulic for three, wide open, doesn't get it. And Slovenia have dried up from outside. They do say you live by it, you die by it. Oh, went for the and one play. We'll have to settle for a trip to the free throw line. Bailu having the game of the tournament for him. Already 12 points, six rebounds, but maybe most importantly, the efficiency. Nine from 13 from the field and a plus minus of 26 points for that young man. Into the game, from Buyak Tunchel. It's easy to forget. Zulic picks up the foul. His first foul. Zulic will head out though and Samar will come in. Over six and a half minutes to go. The line for two free throws. But what a performance from Callahan Fairloo. 20.6 rebounds and a steal to his name. In his second trip to the free throw line in today's game. And can hit the first of his two. And the officials are saying to the attendants mopping up the sweat, they shouldn't really be doing it during a free throw. Slightly off putting for the free throw shooter. free throw still to come chance to extend the lead further for Turkey and Turkey continue the fairy tale doesn't get either to go leaves the door ajar for Slovenia they need to move fast though the Turkey fans ask for a travelling violation not sure I saw that one Belko now Nice little shake, change of direction, loses the handle though, and Turkey steal it away. Smart play, Turkey slow it down. They are in no rush whatsoever. Run the clock, they still need to create offense, they still need to get good shot at opportunity, but just don't need to increase the pace of the game. That helps Slovenia out. Nice behind the back. Gildizalu hands it off. Oh, and there's the put back, and you see the smile on his face. From downtown, Uyakun Chell enjoys the throwdown. Back out for a 13 point lead now for Turkey. Picked away. The clock reset to 14 for Slovenia. There's the over the shoulder pass. There's the missed shot from Bayalu. That's a wonderful pass though from Yildizalu. Finishes there for Ruiz Michel. He's up to 19 points now. Just two rebounds short of a double-double as well. Unbelievably, he hasn't had a double-double in the tournament as of yet. Berkebu Yachtinchel. Stolen away. A poor inbound pass. And the wheels are falling off Slovenia's bus right now. to regain their composure and they need to do it quickly. Well, there's a loop, little shake, little fake. Goes to the bucket, can't get the score, did all the hard work. The finish let him down. Shot goes up and it's a three! Timeout's gonna be called by coach Duan as Slovenia are back within 10. Zemlic, he's been quiet all game. And he just stepped into that three, drains it, takes a few decibels off the crowd. Look at that. That is confidence from the 17-year-old. And that's a smart move, if you ask me, for Coach Duan. The only way Slovenia come away with the win is by starting to warm up for three. How do you stop that way? You don't even let them get warm. As soon as they hit one, you slow things down. You call a timeout. You make a break in the play. Who is that block from 
Turkey. Oh, I think it probably just was a goaltend actually, and that was the last play with the finish. If it was a pass, no, it certainly wasn't. It's a missed shot for me. Sure. hand. Bailu may say different. They come back to the floor. Will be Turkish ball on the baseline. Slovenia now applying full court pressure, man to man. Going oh, old school. For the final five minutes of this semi final. A 10 point lead for Turkey. What a Slovenia have left to give. Can they cause the upset? Can they send these thousands and thousands of fans home? Broken and defeated. Or can Turkey take their place in the final foul? It's going to be called as Coach Petrovic just... That's right, Coach Petrovic. Dolmen Petrovic just drops his arms. You see there, he kept straight. No foul call. Baseline ball now for Turkey. Ures slows it down, smart play. Still eight to use on the shot clock. Baseline drive, good ball movement. Need to get something away. Sivas wide open, three from the corner. Ah, the Sivas. How big is that shot at this stage of the game? Is it going down just as a two, actually? Let's see what the officials say. Yep, they're saying stepped on the line. Still a big shot, though. Burned 20 seconds off the shot clock and then now the jumper. Twelve point lead now for Turkey. Every time Slovenia try and fight their way back in, Turkey just go up a gear, go up a level of class and get a score. Waiting for a few technical details to be sorted with the scoreboard. When we come back, it will be handed over to Osunik for Slovenia to get started. And 4.25 to play. Every possession is gold dust now for Slovenia. Still believe their way back into the game is from downtown, is from the three ball. I think it's easier said than done. Turkey know that's what they're looking for. They're going to overchase like they have there and they're going to spill possession Genghis comes back and slows it down smart play Zubas now we want to run some of the clock inside easy two off the glass Mestalu you feel that Slovenia are now there for the taking there's not much left for them to give They've given everything in this tournament. They're down by 14. There's still time, plenty of time, tons of time. But you just look at their body language. You compare the two. Turkey truly look right now dominant. They are controlling the game. They are imposing themselves on the game. They are being very proactive. Oh, Slovenia, you just feel a little bit forlorn. Not sure what to do. Coach Adasavlovic, the mastermind behind the upset quarter-final win over France. Now has a big task ahead of him in the next three minutes and 36. Dolman Petrovic at the line, 90% from the free throw line prior to tonight's game. The one play you don't really want to send to the free throw line. As he hits both of his free throws. 
Full court pressure from Slovenia. Relatively easily broken by Turkey, though. They're in no rush. They just want to get up over the half and burn some clock. Sivas now will slow it down. Double team jumps up on him. Needs to find a home for it. Throws it away. Petrovic intercepts that pass. Ball play by Sivas. Doesn't want to wait for the double team. As soon as he sees the double team move towards him, he needs to pass away, pass out of that double team. Good defense there by Cengiz. Sideline ball for Slovenia. Comes over the back of it. And just heads to the bench. Into the game comes Gildizalu. Petrovic now. Hands it off to. Oh, it's a poor pass by Petrovic. It's floated. Literally should have just handed it to Zulic. Instead, they turn it over. How costly these small mistakes will be. Can you zoom out of this game? Do your post mortem. Those kind of mistakes that you'll point to. Ivas, baseline, behind the back. Throws up a prayer, catches the iron. And two Turkish players fight over the same rebound. Berlu and Mestalu going head to head for the same board. The baseline ball for Slovenia. More sweat on the floor to be mopped up. What a two and a half minutes ahead of these players now for Turkey. They have a foot in the final. A foot in the final. A chance on their home soil to claim gold. To take the trophy and lift it high in front of thousands of their countrymen and countrywomen. Here. In Izmir for Slovenia. They have two and a half minutes left. And they are grasping on with fingernails right now for a chance to get to the final. Still time to do it, but they need to be near perfect at both ends to take that final spot against Spain tomorrow. Hemlich steps back, jumper, it's good. That's a big first step. Now it's going to be called on Zemlich. Slovenia not in the penalty yet, though. So not the worst foul in the world to give away. And two seconds on the shot clock for Turkey to work with. And if I was them, I'd want to be working with every last single one of those 22 seconds. Both teams now in the penalty. Neither team great free throw shooters though. So if I am Slovenia, I'm tempted to get a little bit into the tactical. Start fouling, send them to the line and put the pressure on them to miss free throws. It's thrown away. Out at the races, this should be the two. Oh, he misses, that's great defense in the end by Buyuk Chingaz. Gets back and puts him off. That's heartbreak from Wysoynik. And it's hard to say that it wasn't down to maybe some exhaustion. He's played 28 minutes, 90 seconds to go. They trail by 10. It's hard to criticize Arno or Sweenik. They've put in a huge tournament. Without him, they certainly wouldn't be in this semi-final. But mistakes like that have cost them. Kinchel comes back in. Mastalu heads out. 92 seconds to play. 10-point lead for Turkey. 
Bayalu, baseline drive, hands it off, little pump fake, gets the score. Yul Dizalu with the big play. That's off the foot of Uyakangaz, so it will be Slovenian ball. They need to go quick here, Slovenia. They can't take their time building an offense. Set the screen, take the jumper. It's as simple as that. Step back, three. No good. Rebound, falls to Turkey in the form of Yildizalu. Foul's going to be called on Usoinic. Just his second personal foul, but that will send Turkey to the free throw line. Yildizalu, a pretty poor free throw shooter though. Hasn't gone to the free throw line today. Only shooting 39% across the tournament. Usoinic will come out. Lampret will come into the game with that move. You feel that coach Radosavlovic has called time on the game. They want to live to fight another day in the bronze medal. And the first rattles in, Gildizalu. And the fans here. And Izmir, they have been in full voice from start to finish and they are going to enjoy this win. Pretty sure every single one of them will be back here again tomorrow for the final. What an atmosphere that's going to be. The three goes up, that's short. Zulic misses the three. Not had the game he will have wanted today. Just seven points, two from eight from the field. Foul's going to be called. Turkey start to realize that they will be in the final tomorrow. They are guaranteed a medal, but what color will it be? Will it be silver? Will it be gold? Will they stand in front of their fans here in Izmir and lift the trophy against Spain? There's still 51 seconds to play, 14 point deficit. It's a big ask, but it's not impossible. Coach Radosavlovic will draw something up in the huddle right now. And win or lose for Slovenia as we see some of the highlight plays in this second half. But win or lose for Slovenia, Coach Radosavlovic will want some momentum to take into that bronze medal game against Serbia. And let's be honest, whenever Slovenia and Serbia play each other at basketball, it is a joy to watch two of the great teams, two of the great nations Mestalu on the back of Demirel enjoying this semi-final as the fans are and they look to lift the fans again and they say thank you for everything you've given us you do have to remember at times these are 17 and 18 year olds taking a huge amount of pressure on their shoulders and dealing with it. These are the memories that will live with them forever though. Tivas hits the first of his two. 11 points, four assists, three rebounds from Arda Sivas. What a game we have had. So easy to forget that earlier in this game, in the second quarter, Slovenia led by 20 points. And now we are gonna see within that 25 minutes, a swing of 36 points. What a performance by Turkey. You have to give them a huge amount of the plaudits for this game. They didn't buckle under the pressure that Slovenia put them under. They stepped up and fought back. There's the three from the corner from Lampret. Gets his score. The assist talked up to Chabrillo. Lampret into the game for the first time. It's the three. 30 seconds left now. Sivas being chased. He will head back to the free throw line again just to put a little bit of a 
icing on top of the win. We're just asking him to calm down a little bit instead of throwing the ball away. Not necessary. A little bit of the inexperience there. And the fans have enjoyed this game. It's been a spirited, tough performance from Turkey. Coach Bratislavic and his team have to take a huge amount of credit as well. It takes two teams to make a great game. We have had a great game here because Slovenia played so well in that first half, particularly the first quarter. They led by 15 at the end of the first 10 minutes. But at the end of the game, they are trailing by 15. And it's going to be a travelling violation for Zulic, I think. Not Zulic, is it? Lampret. And that will be the end of the game. And what a game it's been. A tournament that has deserved a semi-final like this. And it's been gifted an absolute superstar semi-final. Turkey were down by 20 in the second quarter. But at the final buzzer, Turkey win this semi-final by 15. It's Turkey who will face Spain in the final tomorrow. The final score here, Slovenia 64, Turkey 79. And the crowd are giving their team every ounce of credit, understandably so, but a huge amount of respect for this Slovenian team. What a tournament they've had. The surprise shock win against France in that quarter final. 6.2 seconds ago, they were down by two. They were dead and buried. But they fought their way through to take this spot in a semi-final. And how close were they to getting to the final? They were leading by 20 points in the second quarter. They dominated the first quarter. They led by 15 at the end of 10. Coach Radosavlovic and his team of coaches have done a great job in this tournament. And now they're going to have to do a big job. Now they're going to have to lift the Slovenian players back again. Always tough after losing a semi-final to lift yourself, but you have to because tomorrow Slovenia will go to battle against Serbia to take that bronze medal. Here are the celebrations from the Turkish players. They are loving every second of this. They are enjoying every moment in front of their home fans. But they also need to have a mind now on unfinished business. This is half a job done. Yes, they are guaranteed a medal. They are guaranteed to play another 40 minutes in the final of a major championship. But they are surely not going to be satisfied unless they leave with the trophy and a gold medal around their necks. But they must enjoy tonight. What a game. What a performance by Turkey. They never gave up. They never backed down. They gave it everything they had for the full 40 minutes. And that's why they come away as winners in this semi-final. So many smiles around the arena as the players pose for photos and flex to the crowd and they need to be careful they don't get any injuries. So need to be aware this is just the semi-final. These are celebrations that should be saved for a final really. Here are your shooting percentages. Slovenia 42% from outside. What more do you want to say about their performance? Turkey. They got their job done inside, 56% from two points. Slightly worrying with regards to the free throw percentages. But that can be worried about on another day. Turkey win this one. A big rebounding performance and 21 assists for their 79 points. Tells you that they played team basketball to win this one as well. Turkish players need to wrap up their celebrations and start thinking about tomorrow. It's about getting into recovery. Afelu leads them with 20 points. Uyakin Chell has 19 points. Suinic leads Slovenia with 14 points. But what a game we have had.
The first semi-final was very one-sided. Spain dominated and destroyed Serbia. This game was a roller coaster. As we look at some of the best plays from that second half, we have been gifted a wonderful game of basketball in this second semi-final. Slovenia were looking so strong early on in this game. They looked confident and fluid and composed. They were raining the threes down in the first quarter. They continued to look strong in the second quarter, extending their lead to 20. But then Turkey turned up. They toughed it out. They just buckled down into the game and just went to work defensively. They locked Slovenia out of the third quarter, holding Slovenia to just eight points. And that really was the backbreaker for Slovenia. That changed the game. That gave Turkey momentum, gave them confidence. And they pushed on further in the final quarter, extending their lead by another five points. But the fans go home happy. The fans will return tomorrow to watch Turkey take on Spain in the final. Absolutely mouth-watering game ahead of us. Remember, Turkey have already faced Spain in this tournament in the group stage. Spain came away 64-56 winners. As much as Turkey are on their home floor, you would still say that Spain are favourites to lift the trophy. But what part will this crowd play? They've been phenomenal here, the crowd today. If they bring it again, will it lift their team? Will it lift them up and help them get that gold medal tomorrow against Spain? All I know is I can't wait for that game. Do remember though, before it, we have our third placed game as well. Serbia taking on Slovenia. Nah, not the game that either wanted to be in but neither of them wants to lose that game. After the tournament they both had, they will want to go away with a medal around their necks, and only one of them will. So, Slovenia-Serbia for the third place game, and then the gold medal match will be between Turkey and Spain. But what a game we've had here. This has been a phenomenal semi-final. The final for the 2022 FIBA Under-18 European Championship will be Turkey taking on Spain after Turkey come away with a 79-64 win against Slovenia. An amazing game, a wonderful achievement, and still more to come tomorrow. Make sure you come back and join me for all of the action.